This is Steve for the Skywatch Media News Channel for May 15, 2019. The largest magnetic storm in the past two years hit the Earth on May 14. If you happen to be looking up towards the sky, you may have noticed that a strong G3 geomagnetic storm triggered an immense light show across the northern Great Lakes, such as this image captured over Lake Michigan. The cause of the sky spectacle was Sunspot AR 2741. The planetary K index reached high levels as the solar particles bombarded Earth's atmosphere, pushing the northern lights much further to the south. A series of three observed coronal mass ejections have taken place since the 10th of May. The first two CME events are expected to arrive on the 15th of May, and the third CME is anticipated to arrive the latter half of the 16th of May. The solar storm that hit Earth on May 14th is much worse than what is being reported by the NOAA. The current event is a large one compared to what was happening in recent years. It was ranked at level 3, with the strongest, a level 5, occurring once every 10 or 20 years. Russian scientists had issued a warning saying that the increased solar activity threatens electronics and people's health. The Russian Academy of Science indicated that the latest solar phenomena is unusual given the fact that the sun is presently in a state of solar minimum. They are concerned that the sudden burst of energy could divert spacecraft from their present orbit as well as create problems with satellite communications and GPS navigation. The sudden geomagnetic storm took place during the early morning hours of May 14th, as captured here by the Solar Observatory. A crack opened in the Earth's magnetic field, allowing the solar wind to pour through the gap, igniting a series of immense lights across the Canadian border into the northern tier of U.S. states, including Wyoming, Ohio, and New York. At its peak, the storm reached Category 3, one of the strongest in quite some time. Scientists have warned that during the eruption of solar storms, voltage in electrical systems may require correction, and that the false triggering of safety systems could occur. But it's not just technology or energy grids that bears the brunt of cosmic energy. It is people who are also affected by space weather. Those who are weather sensitive are being told to take precautions, especially if you may be feeling any type of discomfort. More CMEs are heading our way, with the first one expected to hit today, with others approaching in the next couple of days. In each instance, auroral displays are expected to cross the Canadian-U.S. border and will be on display in a number of states across the north. Keep your eyes focused towards the sky, folks. Our atmosphere is changing. It is continuously evolving. Strange and unusual sights never cease to amaze sky watchers, just as what happened in the skies over Thailand on May the 9th, when a halo of multicolored mist floated over an ominous storm. They're called iridescent clouds, or fire rainbows. But speculation has it that this cloud phenomenon is occurring much more frequently, in part, due to chemtrailing of the skies. They seem to appear on hot and humid days, and usually accompany thunderstorms forming at the top of cumulus clouds, where air layers are pushed higher and then expand and cool to create tiny droplets that reflect off of the sun's rays. 
It may all seem like a simple atmospheric process, but these rainbow-like clouds are not observed or photographed that often. Coincidentally, they are known to occur just prior to a large earthquake event, which, if true, should provide a heads-up for people that live in earthquake danger zones. As you look towards the sky, the sun in its glory is a powerful force. It provides the fuel of life on this planet. It takes on shades of orange and red both at sunrise and at sunset. Its light guides you both by day and by night, and it gives you hope that the sun will set only to rise again. Thanks for watching.